In this video, I want to show you guys my favorite Krita plugins that I actually use. You guys asked for it in my recent videos, so here we go. So the first and most important and most useful plugin that I use in Krita is called KKit. If I don't have this, I can't use Krita because uh, there is this feature in this called KGrid. Basically, it enables the guidelines like this one and now you can align your images perfectly okay you can also center your images you know all that vertically horizontally and all that and uh, it also supports snapping like snap to edge or to the guideline krita also have the guidelines but they don't work that well if you also use krita and you do photo editing making thumbnails or whatever you should have this thing and there are some other features too so this is the official github page this is also free and open source uh, you can download it from here this is like must have plugin if you also use krita now second plugin that i use is called Krita redesign. By default, Krita doesn't look like this, actually. It looks a bit ugly. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys the default look of Krita. Now, this is how Krita looks. It still looks good, actually. It's, it's not that bad. So basically, with this, it will make Krita look better. All right. So uh, once you install this plugin, you have the redesign option, new option here. You can enable the uh, flat theme okay this will flatten the theme and you can enable the new toolbox or new toolbox which will give you the floating toolbox when you're working on this you know it will overlap with your canvas okay so it will stay on top always and you can also hide this by clicking on this tiny button if it's distracting you can also enable the new tool option which will give you the tool option inside your canvas actually you can also do the same thing here so this will basically make krita look better much better uh, this is the official github page okay you can go here and download this and the third plugin that i use is called pigment o this is a color selection plugin with this you can select colors more precisely and it looks good okay compared to the default Krita's color selection. So if I go here, I mean, it's not that bad, but you're limited to what colors you can select or, you know, there are too many options and you can get confused and all that. But with the pigment, oh, okay, you, you can like, you can see here, it works really well and you can do a precise color selection and all that. And you can also change uh, the look of it if I go into the color selection, you know different style like this is the square if you prefer this one If you prefer, uh, you know rounded one you can go with this wheel. Okay, <laughs> so I prefer this one and Also this one this one also looks really good. Okay, or you can go with this or you can go with this or you can go with this <laughs> This is cool. I prefer the wheel one the rounded one okay so basically this will give you much better color selection next plugin that i use is called segmentation selection tool and you get two new tools once you install this so basically as you guys know uh if you have ever used a photoshop there is this thing called object selection uh, basically you can select the objects in your images so you will get the similar feature in krita with this plugin so let's say i want to select this guy here i can do a square like that and boom look at that it did a selection just like that and you can copy to the new one oh uh, i need to invert the selection <laughs> my bad yeah i need to invert the selection and uh, let's do the copy to new layer okay and look at that it did pretty good selection actually so you can also do another one uh, this one is box one this one is like click and select one like this selection only this selection only or this selection only which works pretty well it's not as powerful as the photoshop's object selection tool but it is like it's better than having nothing on Krita, okay? <laughs> so this is the only thing that we have. So this is the official GitHub page. It is called Krita AI Tools actually. So you can download it from here. And installing this is pretty simple actually. Uh, you just download the zip file and then uh, just copy and paste it into the 
installation directory of Krita, wherever you have installed Krita. Now the last plugin in the list is called Krita AI Diffusion. This is a plugin that I actually no longer use. I don't have this thing installed on my system yet. This is a big file. I use something else called Focus right now instead of this. But this is a really cool uh, AI plugin for Krita. Using this, you can do a image generation, generative fill, generative replace, and all that, just like Photoshop, but for free. This is an open source project. Yeah, if you're into that, you can also use this. Right now, again, as I said, I use something else called Focus for generating images and editing images and all that. But this is a really cool tool that works within the Krita. You can see you can, you can also expand your images and all that. So yeah, this is also a really cool tool. And I also did a video on this actually. If you're interested, you can go and watch this video too. These are the only plugins that I use actually in Krita. I don't do animations and uh, uh, art and all that. I just edit the images. Uh, like mostly I use this for making a thumbnail. Uh, I use this as a Photoshop alternative. Some people were saying that do a image editing tutorial and all that. You know, I suggest you guys to you know look for a tutorial on youtube there are way better people than me to explain like photo editing and all that in krita i'm really not into the photo editing like there are tools such as uh, gmic which offers many filters and tools to edit your photos so you can do some editing in here and you might need additional software if you want to do color correction in this uh, like the dark table or something that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it and hope you found these uh, plugins useful and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.